Good morning, people. How y'all doing? Okay, let's get to the chat. Ah, running around. Uh, <laughs> got off of work early today. Okay, relatively early. I got off of work at like 3, got home at 3, 3.30. Uh, did a little bit of stuff here and there. Um, you know, with the house panel that I'm working on. And with the forge. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, Robert Lonis. Hello, Trail Dust. What up, Dana? How do? Uh, and lurkers. <laughs> That's everybody right now. Uh, I'm trying to invite some of my uh, peeps. <laughs> Edit. <laughs> but, uh, uh, what's up? What's up? What's up? Can't. Dana, can you make window type stickers with the little holes in them? I still have some of those. Um, I don't know why, but people didn't like those. I, I, I have quite a few of them still. <laughs> but people didn't like them. You know, when I put them out for sale. <sighs> but, uh, yeah. Um, just doing some light forging. I'm going to be working on some bottle openers today, as the title suggests. I forgot my hat. Oh, no. Uh, people are going to see my bald spot. Oh, no. Do I have a temporary hat out here? No. <laughs> Thomas Matthews, how do? How do? <laughs> uh, um, I kind of feel like I need a hat. I think I got one. Nah, I can run all the way up to this. Uh, yep, quite a few lurkers. Uh, What's up, Madge? <laughs> I got it on silent so you can't hear me. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, uh, for the first bottle opener, um, uh, for the first sets of bottle openers, I'm going to take some round stock and I'm going to do something I've done before but haven't done in a while, uh, tentacle bottle openers, where I'm going to flatten a bit. I'm going to upset, flatten, and drift a slot and open that up to a hole and then kind of give that a little tapered down and all that fun stuff um so let's get it in the fire actually i might cut this down some because working this around the anvil will be tricky so probably bust out the fish hot cut let me switch uh go to dual cam Transition. Um, and, uh, excuse me, and go from there. <laughs> Didn't we just do it? There it is, it's right in front of me. It's a fish. Ha. Jeff Killian. A toll a a whole ironworks. How do? Am I saying that right or is it just a toll? <laughs> how do, how do? I will say this. While I have the, the bar long, I'm gonna go ahead and upset it. I'm just gonna heat just the very end. I don't need to upset it a whole bunch, and I'll probably try something I ain't done. <laughs> My anvil patina glows in this light, right? <laughs> What's up, Mick Chu? Um, I had it cleaned up yesterday. It was just it. Heck, I had this cleaned up earlier today, and it rusts up real quick. It's just a humid day. Um, so I'm gonna go and upset the. The end, and I'm going to try something I haven't really done before I flatten it out. I'm going to sort of, uh, ath hole. Okay, I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you, I got gotcha. you. Um, I'm going to kind of round it out just a little bit before flat, uh, you know, starting to flat it. Uh, may help, uh, with one of the next parts of it. Not sure, we'll see. Uh, I, I can see it not hurting. But, oh! This... It's going to be up here. 
Uh, actually, I need to need to do something down there to work with. And my gloves are all up at the front. <laughs> We need these for today. Good huh. evening, Wayne. <laughs> okay, I just realized a thol is is that does look like you're you're mocking me. So I'm gonna go ahead and just now that I got it, I'm gonna remove it just so nobody gets uh confused. <laughs> it's like, hey. That's our yama that you're talking about. All right. Where, oh, where? There it is, right there. Upsetting, kind of all right. At the very end of it. <laughs> no, it's totally all right, Athol. Athol. <laughs> I'm going to have fun with that name. I'm sorry. It's going to happen. <laughs> Glad to have you here. New name. Didn't recognize it. What up, Robert? Mr. Coffee, how do? Yeah, that's me. I know. This this hair is going gone soon. Basically, I'm, I'm just trying to try something a little different and get a little bit of the, uh, where's my, get a little bit of the, um, the bat, the Batman look out of it. Hey, Mr. Woodring. Adjust the camera so we don't see the top of your head. Come on, man. <laughs> The doubloons did, man. I have I, I can't really post too many pictures of them up there uh much. But uh but yeah, they came out great. Um I need to rebuild the jig because the jig base that I used was is a tool steel that I talked about that it just kept cracking. Yeah, so I'm just gonna rebuild the jig. And then once I get that working, I'm just gonna brrr, I got a whole bunch of them I need to make. You know, good to see you too, Mr. Coffee. Before heading into the guild. Well, thanks, Robert.
tell you, I'm, I may find that this set was completely freaking unnecessary. <laughs> Troy was just out at the shop for a visit. Nice to see somebody other than doctors. Yeah, man. Uh, did he hit the forge around the world plate while he was there? Or did I get him? I think I got him at the uh, fairgrounds. I can't remember. I need to see the plate. <laughs> but yeah, once once I get that back, I'm going to do a video on it and uh, send it out to the next set of people. Yeah, nice and lit. Okay, it's sort of doing what I wanted to do, but also what I expected it to do. So, yeah, we'll go with that. Hey, Paul. Oh, you're going to hit. I'm going. You're going to his house before you go to Hans's. Heard. Sup, Salbert. We'll see Eduardo next week and get his stamp. Rock on. Hmm. Sully. I don't know if you can see that. Lost Colony Kitty Hawk Blonde. <laughs> Go. I need something over here to prop this up. A little bit sorta. All right. Hi, Debbie. How do? All right. I need to do something about this hair. I think we got one more cold, cold day coming up. And I wanted to wait till after it, but I might. Yeah, Friday it's going to be 47 degrees. And I'm working outside here. So. So then back to 70 on Sunday.
Ah, almost 60 today, 35 tomorrow. Yep. Maybe, you know what? A hat might just have to do it. I think after the show today, I'm going to go in there and snip, snip. I might have to keep the beard still, but. All right. Uh, make sure if you haven't, you click that subscribe button, ring the bell, or, and hit the notifications so that you know when I go live, even though you can set a watch by it. <laughs> What's up, Dwayne? I do. Right. I know it's almost there, but I want to try and get it a little bit more. Mr. Gudamu, how do, how do, say, uh, poke Roy in the shoulder for me. <laughs> Mr. Parsons, what up, what up? <laughs> I can't work the mouse, so I can't read the chat. <laughs> Something I was going to do, something I was going to grab. I can't remember what it is. So I'll just keep going. Beard's growing back fast. Good deal, man. Dang near, right on it. Had to get some steel. Heard. Shane, how do? Working it back and forth now.
starting to shear. A little bit more heat. Trouble is, is I was trying to do it on a taper. All right, got that slot punched out. I'm going to run this through it. That come up to heat a little bit. Let's come over here, check out the chat. Oh, no, it's Bill Corey. What up, Bill Corey? <laughs> yeah, this is where the cool kids are at. Great. Mosquitoes are coming out. I gotta go stock up on mosquito spray. I ain't wearing a kilt if I don't have mosquito spray. <laughs> Thomas, I know, I know, I know. Roy just said, I'll wear a kilt whenever. We all know Roy loves kilts. And he can't stand to be seen not wearing one. <laughs> he's he's going to pull the truck over and be you know, you know what, Yamas? No. At least I can slap punch full. So yes, yes, Roy, you can. What's up, stress? Justin Ray, how do? What up, what up, what up? Two inch by ten inch round plate. Nice. Hey, Henry St. Street Forge. Nah, you didn't miss much. Just the most important part of the show. <laughs> no.
went two inch by, hold on, two inch by 10 inch round plate. Okay, so what you need to do is to get it on the bandsaw, start it in, and then cut a spiral, and then forge it out, and you got a nice long two inch bar stock. One more size up, and then I can work it on the horn. Or then I'm going to cut it off and work it on the horn. Although, I had set that to the side. Can't quite remember where I put my next size up. Hmm. Heck, I don't even know where my small dick is. Oh yeah, I know where it's at. <laughs> Or at least it should be over here. The irony of me talking about cleaning up my shop and then never doing it. Oh, well. I'm clever. I can get this. Yeah, that'll work for me. Get that whole bar hot on my bitch. Cut it off. I knew it was around here somewhere. It'll be a hot toilet spoon. <laughs> yeah. So many people love it when I work on the horn, Paul. Do I have to send a magnetic stand? <laughs> no. That's on the docket for today. I wanted to. Re reason I haven't uh, done anything with it yet is I wanted to reshape it a little bit. Um, I have a little too much meat where I don't want it, and not enough meat where I do need it. So I wanted to kind of reshape it on the horn a little bit, you know, and then regrind it. I have a blank canvas in front of me. What I, what should I paint? Um, Kraken. John, a uh, a big freaking lobster mixed with an octop octopus. Or, or you no, you do landscapes. Uh, an island chain, so a seascape with with islands and campfires that goes off into the distance. Yeah.
What's up, Speargrass? Let me see. Yep, got that cut off. An alpine albino rabbit being chased by a polar bear in the middle of a blizzard. <laughs> Was Roy telling you to stop there, Thomas? Hashtag Christ Centered Ironworks Toilet Spoon Challenge. <laughs> yeah, I made one. I just didn't film it. Right there. It's got the reach, you know. Sorry, Roy. The people demand it. So you might as well make it official. Uh, 
All right. <laughs> yeah, pretty hard to get tackled while uh while driving there, Thomas. I think you're good. Or are you driving and Roy is going, stop texting? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, I bet it would be. I bet it would be easy. Ooh, sparkly. <laughs> Roy's driving, driving and screaming for both of our lives. <laughs> <clears throat> A commercial for Yama's stream is Harbor Freight. Imagine that. Imagine that. Everybody knows I love cheap tools. I can't say that. They're my sponsor. <laughs> Yes, Thomas, he's talking about Roy's truck, not his embrace. <laughs> hey, Tech, what up, Curtis? <laughs> nice and cozy in Roy's embrace. That's about it. Now it's just dressing it up.
making them nice and smooth. Yeah, Yamez is great at translating. YouTube misspelled Yammer. Yep. Up two foot? Ah. <laughs> I mean, I can, but... Shut up. I mean, I know, Adam. I know. I'll get the uh, angle here in a few. Try two foot more, two foot higher. That better? <laughs> you need to shave your head, hippie. Alrighty. The George Costanza thing? No, what I should do is completely shave all of this and just go with Bozo the Clown and then host my own Bozo buckets in my yard. <laughs> <laughs> it's time for Bozo. Fuck it. <coughs> what up, Mr. Burnell? Who's this clown? Let's see how it is. A little bit more. Charlie May, how do? Can't move faster than usual. Ah, <laughs> oh, thanks, Charlie. Charles.
<laughs> Speaking of home vasectomies, ah, pull the muscle there. Oh, that's too big. Give it a shot. Yep, big old skitters. Do two at a time with that. All right, there's that at that side. All right. All right, John. Welcome back, Trail Dust. Don't you be careful with all that tech. If I ever get 50 subs, it'll go live. Um, you can go live without any subs or whatever, as long as you have a computer running it instead of a phone. To use your phone, you have to have 1,000 subs and 4,000 watch hours. Same here, John. Ah, adios, Dana. Be wearing neck, uh, leather gloves next time, right? It, it really is 
beer grass. It really, really is. Um, I make it look easy because I've been doing it for so long. And, and, and I look back and it's like, it's amazing that I can say that and actually have it mean something. <laughs> um, Jesus, I've almost been going live every week for almost five years now. Oh. But I've got an amazing community to back me up. They need to courtesy bend this uh, bottle opener end out the way. At work, popping in to say, hey, hey there, granddads. Stress, I will say this. There are two difficult parts to going live. Number one, actually three, and I'm struggling with the third one. Number one, the actual technical side of it. Number two, the showman side of it. You know, like the actual interaction and, and being able to monitor OBS, monitor your analytics, and monitor the chat while also working on a project. <laughs> um you know uh thank god roy has jess because <laughs> but uh and then the third aspect is uh maintaining a channel that brings in viewers youtube does not advertise live streamers they don't uh the only reason you guys are here are either Another YouTuber told you to go check me out, or you caught me up watching, you know, from watching uh, um, my videos, you know. And the reason I still have a small uh, subscriber base and a small uh, uh, live stream turnout is because I don't do edited videos at the moment. So it's like, ugh. Um, you know, so so my base isn't growing. I'm dealing with all the glare on your... <laughs> What's up, Bobby? Uh, am I still multi-streaming? Right now, I am not. Uh, I didn't feel like setting it up. R Roy would have way more rants if it weren't for Jess. <laughs> This new clip function is interesting. What clip function? And on the editing side stress, it's not just point, shoot, edit, and all of that stuff. It's like you got to deal. I mean, if you want a quality channel and quality videos, you have to deal with, you know, color correction. Po you have to do with setup, staging the scene, doing the, doing the work and, and recording it. Um, and then post you know post processing the the editing uh, uh the color corrections the sound the audio corrections um the clipping and, and and putting it together to be a cohesive video and then you've got to render it which takes time and then you got to upload it which takes time and then you've got to set all the seo which takes a lot of time and research and then you have to follow up on it which takes time and all of that while working on the next video <laughs> it's it's a lot of work oh yeah Um, there's a, there's a clip feature. I don't know what a clip feature you're talking about. Um, tech discovered the new clip feature. What clip feature? New spoof roll? Wait. Oh, during a live stream. Okay. 
Yeah, fighting the SEO, fighting the algorithms. I got, I got so freaking, I don't want to say burn. I use burned out. It's not that I got burned out. It's just that it's like I lost. I, I, didn't, I didn't have the time. It was becoming a full-time job. Just maintaining the channel. Just maintaining, not even growing. Just maintaining. That feels more comfortable. Uh, see what I did there? I convenience bend that out of the way so that my tongs can hold it. I wouldn't have had to do that if I had made these offset jaws. Eh? Eh? Topical. We were talking about tongs a couple weeks ago. Oh, and speaking of uh, Saturday, Sunday shows, uh, tune in this week. It's, it's, it's a super important show. So tune in this week to Sunday Morning Gathering. On desktop version of YouTube. Heard. Group of three per channel minimum. Absolutely. <laughs> Robert Lone is with a $20 super chat. Thanks for the love and entertainment, brother. Always. You know, I, I love doing this. You know, th it's like the only reason I did edited videos was because they were requested. I prefer live streams. If I could grow this channel through this live stream alone, I would. Unfortunately, YouTube doesn't put it in the algorithm. It relies on word of mouth for this. You know, if you've got friends that would be interested in this show, link them the videos and say, hey, you know, remember I was talking to you about Yamez and how awesome and badass he is? Here's the link. He's live now. Come on in, say hi, click subscribe. That's how this show will grow, you know, through popular. Super important church. Call me up the street. Okay. I'll see if I have time. To admit a bit gun shy about making a new vid with all the editing. <laughs> right? Mr. Maker is not here. My brain hasn't been right since last Sunday. Last Sunday was a hoot. Downloading and editing the uh, live streams, but uh, the trouble is, is it, it's. I believe I've looked into it. An average, average uh, size of my live streams is about two to three gigs, roughly, and um, I, I just I don't have that kind of internet, <laughs> um, and 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 more to the point. It's not so much getting the video footage and going and it's, I don't have time to sit and edit. I don't have time to, to, uh, to, to, to mutz with, mutz around with the SEO. So live streams, 
Scott here. How doing? First time viewer. What up, man? <laughs> Adios, stress. Good chat. My beer is empty. <laughs> Matt White. How do? Welcome, welcome, Scott. I got to ask, how'd you hear about me? We're talking about uh, where people heard from me and whatnot, and how uh, YouTube doesn't recommend uh, live streams, so it's all a word of mouth. Either other YouTubers, previous videos, and or, you know, friends sharing links. Bring this down to a nice point. I don't even want it to get a little pointier, but at the same time, I don't think I need it to be. This is just going to kind of curl around a little bit. This will have an arch. And then this will go into a curl, kind of be that thumb grip for the uh, bottle opener, you know. So I think it's good. I think it's ready to go around. I trust you know how to rectify that empty beer all the way up to the all the way up to the house. I unfortunately did not bring my beer out to the fridge tonight. <laughs> Cheryl, how do? Okay, yeah, again, bringing that to a point, square to octagon, now it's going to go to round. Eventually, eventually I'll get there. You know what, I'm going to have a smoke break and sit and chit chat with you guys. Uh oh. $100 super chat. Woot! Woot! Party woot from uh, Cheryl. Thanks. Oh. I did put the little smooch into the uh, bottle cat or the bottle catch. I appreciate the heck out of that with the super sticker there, Cheryl. Thank you to the Roan. Uh oh. I'm going up. Tom, two dollar super chat from Thomas Goodemoot. Help Jesus, help me, Oprah, help me. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. You just popped up as a live stream. And so, okay, cool. All right, Scott. So we, we were literally just talking about how uh, YouTube doesn't really advertise live streams unless you're a larger channel. Um, so cool. I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> if you have any questions, by all means, feel free to ask. You know, uh, I may not be a professional blacksmith, uh, but I do have professional blacksmiths in the audience. <laughs> uh, square, octagon, hexadecagon. No, nope, I, I skip all of those. I go square, octagon, round. <laughs> 
I don't muff, muck about with uh, hexadecagons and trichodacodons and diagonons and whatnot. I just square the octagon to round. And if I'm feeling uh, particularly squishy, I'll, I'll go straight squared around and just screw everybody. <laughs> um, but yeah, starting stock of this uh, bottle opener was approximately, uh, I think it was half inch round stock. Jeff Killian, I get it. You get it, Pop. Well, yeah, but you're a subscriber that has the, the notifications, you know. <laughs> I go flat to round one step. <laughs> Mr. Maker, how do? You got to add the voice to that, Yamez. I'm on fire. You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> I'm not on fire. Or I'm on fire. You're not on fire, Ricky Bobby. <laughs> Actually, if I may sidestep while I have the smoke break, um, that scene in... Uh, Talladega Nights where Ricky Bobby's on fire by invisible fire and everything. Uh, I saw a clip. I think it's like methane, not methane fire, uh, uh, ethanol fire or something like that. Um, is invisible. How do you taper round to round? Scott, first you've got to bring it to square. Uh, trying to keep it round while you're tapering, it, it, it's an exercise. It can be done. It's just it'll take like five times as long because you're working all the angles as you taper it. Uh, but the easiest way is to square it up and then bring it down, you know, taper it down, and then go back to round. But yeah, something like, I think it's like ethanol fire or something is is like so bright it's it's near invisible in daylight. So, you know... You can have invisible fire. <laughs> round around. <laughs> I taper right round, baby. Right round. That's what I need. Another monetization strike. <laughs> Man, I feel bad. I'm all scruffy. Um, I got a new subscriber and I look like crap. <laughs> Community of really great, kind people. Absolutely. Methanol might be what I'm thinking of. Methanol might be what I'm thinking of. Not ethanol. Methanol. Okay. Yeah. There you go, Scott. Also, if if you haven't forged yet, I, I don't know because you're new. So uh, I have a first fire playlist, and it's it's how to get started in blacksmithing. And from there, um, I can recommend uh, Roy from Christ Centered Ironworks. He's got thousands of videos from you know super beginner to advanced. Uh, so, uh, in this community alone, we there is enough knowledge to get you started and master. <laughs> yeah. Ethanol burns blue. I knew that. No, something burns clear. I've seen the video.
All right, now before I before I go ahead and make this all odd shape, I'm going to touch mark it right up here. Got the other one right over here somewhere. Probably buried in scale. <laughs> there it is. Yeah, buried in scale. Working on your first set of tongs, working my way towards a hammer. Right on, man. I've made both. Uh, very easy, easy, quick set of tongs uh, is a twisted tongs. And I have that in my beginner's series, too. Uh, and moving up from there, you know, you could work on the different uh, styles. The forging on a brick was epic. GS, GS Tong stepping on your live turf right now. Just got a notice. Uh, I'm almost done. Tell him I said hi. Robert. Oh yeah, Bill Corey's a uh, a brilliant guy. If if I were to sit here and just list off, you know, the the qualifications of everybody in the chat, um it that would be the show. <laughs> That's why I do the uh Sunday gathering is to chit chat with the community. You know. That will work. I just need to remember where I set my tongs specifically for there they are. And Scott, I just noticed a set of my twisted tongs. Fire's dying. So, twisted tongs. Very simple, flat stock that you've drawn some reins out on, and then you hold them in a vise and twist them together, and then drill a hole, put a rivet in, and you've got tongs. I've got a video on this, Bill Corey's got a video on this, uh, Roy's got a video on this over at Christ Centered Ironworks. <laughs> Welcome back, Adam. Michael Robertson, how do? Yeah, the twisted tongs are perfect for beginners because they're full. They're really usable. They are a legit usable pair of tongs. Mine's currently set up. I can grab them right here. Mine's currently set up for. Uh, Slot jaw, which I don't use a whole ton. Ah. 
hit the tongs instead. All right. Yeah, I was my plan my plan going into this show today was to do several quick bottle openers. I didn't change the camera. Um but I I had I decided to take a little bit of time and make this, you know, one real nice one. Real nice one. Air quotes. <laughs> All righty. Here. I know it's off camera, but suck it up, buttercups. Give that a nice bend. Some more on that. Bottle opener side of it off. Basic flat jaws, right on. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. <laughs> it's not half of my work. I mean, I gripped it and bent it. Come on. A little bit more. Hmm. Gave it a nice significant bend for that side. And this side is going to curl you up. You know what? What it is, I've also got a big old uh, new anvil stand sitting here in the way. I got to fix, finish fixing it up.
All right, what I'm trying to do is kind of isolate just one spot, kind of isolate just here on the heat so that this kind of stays the same and then over here it bends up. Gotta go, Yamez. Good view and thanks. Try to catch you on the other, another live stream. Right on, Scott. It's thick. Thick steel. <laughs> For what I'm trying to do to it. The garage floor is sweating. Yeah, every morning my garage floor is sweating. I hear you there, man. Less of a thumb hole. <laughs> oh well, it is what it is. Oh, master. Yeah. <laughs> Say we brass brush the junk out of this.
All right. A nice hint of brass. There we go. Adios, Bobby. It is a new brass brush. <laughs> Whoa, Bill Corey. <laughs> oh, out of context. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, because I, I, I saw that. I didn't see the context. So what is the context for that statement? Oh, fifth wheel. Okay. <laughs> right on. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead and call it there because... We're going to have to get used to ending ending around 7, 7.30 again. Because guess what comes on next week? <laughs> no! So for those of you guys who are still here, I'm going to chat for a minute. <laughs> Survivor! I'm going to switch over to uh, Goodnight Fire here. Survivor, Justin. I'm a, I, you know, I watch Survivor with, uh, with my stepmom every, every episode. Kind of what, you know, aside from work, it's what we do to hang out. <laughs> kind of, Speargrass. So, yeah. Let's, uh... Switch cameras here and do good night fire. <laughs> Thank you all for hanging out. I appreciate it. Um, you guys are all fantastic people. And I uh, love hanging out with you guys. I'll see you guys all on Sunday for a super duper important not to be missed uh, Blacksmith Sunday gathering, the Blacksmith Church. Good night, fire. Good night, Cole. Hello, airplane. Good night, embers. Good night, glow. Good night, hammer. Good night, tongs in the rack. Good night, steel. From yellow to black. Anvil is quiet. Still is the tweer. Good night, blacksmiths. Everywhere. Now, who's going to blow out the candle? <laughs> Who gets to blow it out this week? Anybody? Good job. <laughs> anyway, night, everybody. I'll catch you all uh, in a few days. <laughs>